Hi, I'm Mary Logston, and once again, here I am at your library. As you can see today at your library, I am seated in one of the many um, upholstered, comfortable seating areas that we have here at your library on the second floor. If you haven't stopped by um, to curl up with a good book, I recommend that you do so sometime soon. This, as I said, is one of many areas in the library on the second floor where you can sit and read um, and uh, just really enjoy being in this fabulous new space. I've recently counted and I believe there are over 140 places to sit on the second floor of the library, um, which is a huge improvement over uh, the situation in our previous library. So if you just want to come and spend some time in the library, please do. And uh, do take note of all of the additional seating areas that we have for folks who enjoy spending time at your library. But today's program is really going to be not so much about what's happening here in our main facility, but what's happening out on the road at your library. As I said, I have a special guest today with me, and it's one of my colleagues here at Ames Public Library, Kathy Von Brocklin. Hi, Kathy. Hi, good morning. I am just so glad that you've taken time to sit down with me. Um, we don't often work in the same area of That's the library, true. although we work for the same library. Um, tell me just a little bit about uh, your role here at the Ames Public Library. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, 12 years? Okay. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, where is it that you have fun in the library? What's your current role? My current role um, is in the customer account services department, which which actually means I work at the front desk where people okay. come in. Mm -hmm. We call it our welcome desk. Right. And help people with their accounts, you know, checking things out or paying fines. We don't like to talk about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but. Um, and then I also get to work in the back mm -hmm. where we have our um, automated materials handling system, which is a lot of fun um, because it checks in all of our materials mm -hmm. for us and sorts them and is pretty amazing. Yes. Um, but probably the part of my job that I love the most is I drive the bookmobile. Okay, you're one of the, you're one of the many drivers. Right. How many, I don't even know how many people well, on the we staff have, there we are. We have three people that regularly drive okay. the bookmobile. And yeah. then we have two, mm, I think three others who can drive when we need them. Okay, so you yeah. get to drive the bookmobile. And I know that in recent months, uh, the bookmobile has celebrated a grand opening in the same way that the main library has. Yes. And um, it's just amazing how much grand activity there's been here. So tell me yeah. a little bit about what has recently happened for the bookmobile. Well, uh, in November, we took delivery of a brand new bookmobile mm -hmm. and said goodbye to our old bookmobile, uh, which, um, some a lot of people don't realize don't know that we named our old bookmobile Miles. Oh, that's right. Just like we have Smiles, the big blue dog, who's our mascot, but we also had Miles, the bookmobile. Yeah. So now we have a brand new bookmobile, and yeah. we're going to have to have a contest to find, come up with a new name okay. for our new bookmobile. We haven't haven't uh, figured that one out yet, but um, we're pretty excited about our new mm -hmm. bookmobile because it is not bigger on the outside, right. but it is actually bigger on the inside. Now, what I mean by that is mm -hmm. that the way that it's been constructed on the inside, there's more headroom. Okay. So for all of our customers who are over six foot, they don't have to walk like this <laughs> when they're going through. Great. And um, it also has more uh, bench space for people who like to sit and mm -hmm. while they're browsing through the books. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's just, it has better uh, everything. Really? It's just updated everything. We just love it. Well, tell me a little bit more. You mentioned that you have sometime, you have six foot folks who come onto the bookmobile. Um, one of my observations living in Ames and seeing the bookmobile driving around mm -hmm. um, and here, of course, in the garage, um, is it's 
really brightly illustrated. I mean, Smi Miles was brightly illustrated. True. And um, the current bookmobile is uh, absolutely gorgeous in terms of its illustrations. Um, before we get to what's special on the outside, just tell me, is, is the bookmobile intended to be just for children? Um, it's, got a, it, it's got a very... Uh, uh, animated childlike exterior. It does. It has a very child-centered graphics yes. on, on the outside. So people do get that impression that it's just for children mm -hmm. and it's not. Right. It's really uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. Families, kids, but also single adults, young adults, mm -hmm. older adults. We have um, customers who've been coming to the bookmobile for 20 30 years. Really? Okay. Yes. So so with the materials on the bookmobile, like you said, you can sit down on a bench and even browse, um, select. Um, mm -hmm. Those materials, are there hundreds, thousands? What's we the have, supply? Oh, we have um, more than 3,000 items wow. on the bookmobile. Wow. Okay. And basically, we have everything that you could find here at this library uh -huh. uh, location. Uh, on our bookmobile library, we also have uh, you know, it, there's a few things we don't carry, yeah. but for the most part, we have adult books, we have nonfiction fiction, we have uh, children's books, we mm. have uh, young adult books, mm. we have graphic novels, you yeah. know, we, we've got it for all ages. Great. Do you bring movies out there? Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have yeah. several shelves full of movies, and yeah. that's one of the most popular yeah. items um, for our customers is to come in and usually pick up two or three movies right. to go with their two or three books yeah. or, or more. Yeah. yeah. So when the bookmobile goes out and about um, to town, I know that it stops uh, at regularly scheduled locations. So yes. how many different places do you visit um, regularly in a week? At this time, we've, we, on Monday nights, we go to Sawyer School. Mm -hmm. So we're way out on the west side okay. of town. And then on Tuesdays, we go um, so more of a central north location. Mm -hmm. We go to uh, St. Cecilia School right. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening, we head south. Oh. So we're at Old Orchard, okay. uh, the mobile home park, for a little while. And then we go even further south to Kate Mitchell School. Wow. Okay. And so that gets us through Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we head way west, mm -hmm. all the way out to the new Edwards Elementary School Terrific. in the afternoon. Great. And then in the evening, we go to the uh, Fairway uh, grocery store parking lot that's all the way up in the north part of Ames. So you right. see, we yeah. we kind of go everywhere all over town. Yeah, that's wonderful. So really, it, the Bookmobile is our mobile branch. I know we've referred to it that way before. It is. And as our mobile branch, um, with such high visibility, um, wow, are we ever lucky to have had the opportunity to um, have this one designed by somebody very special. So let's talk about the the exterior of the bookmobile because it is yes. eye catching. Uh, I think it's the only bookmobile in the United States that has flames um, <laughs> illustrated on the on the front on the outside, yeah. and that's because one of the uh, characters in the books by Derek Anderson is Hot Rod Hamster, mm -hmm. who has his race car. Yeah. So uh, he he uh, put Hot Rod Hamster on there very prominently on mm -hmm. one side of the uh, bookmobile along with uh, a character that of Derek's that's also very well known little quack mm -hmm. little quacks there with his mom yeah and then towards the back on the on the uh, left side I is Gladys, Gladys the yes. big purple gorilla yes so all those are uh, well-known characters to children and uh, parents who read Derek's books yeah and we're really to get Derek was a real coup. Um, he's a nationally known illustrator, yeah. uh, award-winning illustrator, mm -hmm. but more importantly, yeah. he's an Ames uh, person. He doesn't live in Ames now, but he graduated from Ames High. Yeah. His parents still live here in Ames, so he comes back to visit. Wonderful. And so we were really excited when he said, yeah, I've got time in my schedule. I can do that. I can illustrate the outside of your, your book. Isn't yeah. that amazing? So Derek Anderson, who is a, a, a Ames, um, somebody who grew up in Ames, has gone on to be a very successful children's book writer and mm -hmm. illustrator. Mm -hmm. um, and he, his characters are on the exterior of the right. library and presenting our, our um, services out in the community yes. um, on the road. Yeah. And we are just so thrilled, just so thrilled. Yeah. Now, I know he, he emphasizes um, something special about Story County. Also. He does. He has, this is um, 
one of his uh, books. Mm -hmm. This one, he, uh, most of his books, he illustrates somebody else writes. Um, so for instance, oh, okay. Gladys is, Derek wrote and illustrated, but with Little Quack and Hot Rod Hamster, we've got Cynthia Lord okay. and um, Lauren Thompson, are, who are the writers, and he's done their illustrations for them. It's great. Uh, but Story County, this is a really special book because, of course, we live in Story County, yes. and it's all about a farmer and his animals building a farm oh. from scratch. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's really cute. And so he did one whole side of the bookmobile mm -hmm. as if the farmer and his animals are building the bookmobile. Wow. So it's really cute. The back, there's like boards, and they're painting over the boards. And yeah. on the door, it says there's always it's always story time in Story County. Wow. So it's, I think that's wonderful because we really push reading yes. and early literacy skills for our children. So that was a pretty special point. Well, and there is storytelling happening on, on the bookmobile, which is yeah. really, really a, um, a fabulous yeah. um, angle. You well, know? everything's about stories. Yes, exactly. Right. Whether you're reading um, fiction, nonfiction, mm -hmm. watching a movie, it's all about stories. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Well, you know, I, I so appreciate hearing uh, about uh, about the bookmobile, and I'm hoping that folks are coming out and are enjoying uh, visiting. Do you have folks um, responding well to the new design? It's it's, it's great fun when somebody. Uh, a lot of people have. Uh, we are coming on the bookmobile who've actually never been on the bookmobile oh, okay. before yeah. and so I really encourage people to come out mm -hmm. and just uh, just to see the bookmobile just to see what we've got to offer mm -hmm. um, we think of it as your neighborhood branch of the library yeah so uh, yeah we're and it's fun they come on the bookmobile and they say Mm, smells new uh -huh, you know, because it yeah. has that new not new car smell so much as a new uh, new carpet you know and oh, all yes. the, the yeah. it's so clean and pretty and brightly lit and we are we're so really fortunate. enjoying that well we are just so fortunate in this community to have had the support that has allowed us to update and renovate and um, yeah. and, and present new so many of our uh, yeah. our facilities our services um, and the bookmobile I know has been in service for is this a special year there's a round number um, are we at that actually this is going to be the 51st year so 51st. we have been in business wow. here in Ames as the branch library for yeah. 50 years that's wonderful yeah. so we've completed 50 years of service and yeah. this is the start of the next 50 what's really exciting about us having a, a bookmobile here in Ames mm -hmm. is that it's one of only three bookmobiles mm -hmm. in the entire state of Iowa Wow and it's the only one that's for just a municipality. The yeah. other two are countywide. Yeah, often uh, bookmobiles do go out beyond the sure. boundaries of a city. So to have a neighborhood bookmobile that's yeah. focused on bringing bringing our services out to these yes. different as you said, sections of Ames is just great. And, and keep your eyes out for the bookmobile, which um, frequently appears at um, uh, parades and special events out mm -hmm. and about in town. So yes. um, you just never know where you might see this terrific yeah. um, story mobile um, making its way around Ames. Kathy, thanks so much for joining me today. And you've inspired me to go outside and check out the bookmobile more often myself. So Thank you for having me. I, I can talk about the bookmobile all day. So. Okay, we may there get we you back on at your <laughs> library another time. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the Bookmobile as much as I have. Uh, the Bookmobile is really a wonderful asset to the Ames Public Library and the Ames community. Something else I hope that you are aware of is the many, many programs that we offer here at the Ames Public Library. And this is no exception in March. You will find activities happening throughout the month. Check our library website, amespubliclibrary.org. Uh, pick up a copy of page one, our newsletter, or just you know keep your eye out on the newspaper, um, on our Facebook page, uh, in the uh, lobby, on our bulletin board where we post uh, flyers of activities that are happening. I'll just point out a couple of things. If you're really getting excited about spring, and who isn't, um, we are having a gardening book sale in Literary Grounds the weekend of March 14th. 15. So make a point to stop by our literary grounds um, where our Ames Public Library Friends Foundation um, manages our gently used bookstore and keep your eye out for some really special spring book sales for your, for your gardening. In addition, in March we will be having another um, session of our Genealogy Plus series, which is happening on the third Wednesday of the month between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock, um, as well as a number of other um, really, really entertaining, stimulating, interesting programs and activities here at your library. So thank you so much for joining me today. This is Mary Logston at your library.